Hey guys, welcome back to Bros's Math Club. Today's topic is add mixed numbers. Now, just um, a little head start for this topic. You need to know that whenever you're dealing with mixed numbers, you always have to change the mixed number into an improper fraction. That is the number one thing that we learned about. And, like This was the first video that we made for this topic called improper fractions and mixed numbers. If you haven't seen that video, then that's okay because I'm going to be revising that entire method of converting improper fractions to mixed numbers and mixed numbers to improper fractions in this video. So let's get started. <laughs> okay, so let's say maybe we have a problem such as 5 and 7 eighths plus 6 and 2 fifths. So that's our problem, 5 and 7 eighths plus 6 and 2 fifths. Remember that you need to change this into improper fractions first. So if you look at your mixed number over here, 5 and 7 eighths, so first we're going to do 5 and 7 and 8, then we're going to move to 6 and 2 fifths. Remember, the formula is divisor times denominator plus numerator. So divisor, which means 5 times denominator, 8, plus numerator, which is 7. 5 times 8 is 40, plus 7 equals 47. So that means we have 47. Now remember, your final answer of 47 is always going to become your numerator. So now you have, over here, 47, and the denominator stays the same, so you still have 47 over 8. Now you bring down the plus sign, You now you have to do 6 and 2 fifths. So remember, 6 times 5 plus 2. 6 times 5 is 30, plus 2 equals 32. Final answer becomes your numerator, 32, and the denominator stays the same, which is 5. Now, in our previous videos, um, this was like way back, not because, because beginning of this chapter, but in our, I think in our last chapter, we talked about common denominators. And when adding or subtracting fractions, you always, always, always have to have common denominators. As you can see, 8 and 5 are not common denominators, are they? So, let's revise that topic of making, getting common denominators. So, in order to get common denominators, you need to find common multiples of each. So, if you write 8 here, 5 here, you're going to list the first about 10 multiples of each of these. So, 8 times 1 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, times 3 is 24, times 4 is 32, times 5 is 40, times 6 is uh, 48, times 7 is 56, times 8 is 64, times 9 is 72, and times 10 is 80. 5. 5 times 1 is 5, times 2 is 10, 15, 20. Now, as you can see, there is a pattern in the times table of 5, which is you add 5, right? So 5 times 4 is 20, times 5 is 25, 6 would become 30, then 35, which is for 7, times 8 would become 40. Now, if you pause here for a second, as you can see, 8 times 5 gave us 40, and 5 times 8 gave us 40 as well. And these two are common multiples, right? So that means our common denominators are going to be 40. So if you come over here... And we know that our common denominator has to be 40, right? So you're going to write 40 plus 40. What times 8 gave us 40 and what times 5 gave us 40? 8 times 5 gave us 40. So we are going to use this formula on the, um, okay, on this. So if 8 times 5 gives, gave us 40, we're going to have to do 47 times 5 to get us our numerator. So 47 times 5. 5 times 7 is 35. Bring up 3. 5 times 4 is 20 plus 3 is 23. So we get 20, 235. So 235. Now same thing over here. 5 times 8 gave us 40. So we're going to have to do that. 32 times 8. 32 times 8. 8 times 2 is 16. Bring up the 1. 8 times 3 is 24 plus 1 is 256. 256. Now we just do simple addition. 235 plus 256. So get that out. 235 plus 256. 
5 plus 6 is 11. Bring up the 1. 5 plus 3 is 8. Plus 1 is 9. 2 plus 2 is 4. We get our sum of 491. Now remember, the denominator always stays the same. Now we have 491 over 40. Now remember, once you get your um, final answer, you can't just leave it as an improper fraction. Now you have to go back into the reverse and change this into a mixed number. So if we get ourselves some space here, okay. So we had 491 over 40, right? We're gonna have to do division now in order to change this improper fraction into a mixed number. So we have 491 divided by 40. 40 cannot go into 4, so we're going to combine 49. 40 can go into 49 once. Bring down the 9 and the 1. How many times is 40 going to 90? 40 times 2 equals 80. Subtract, you get 11 as your remainder. You bring up the 11 as the remainder. Now you got your answer, but what do you do next? Well, you this is like the easiest way. Quotient becomes whole number, remainder becomes numerator, and um, divisor becomes denominator. So quotient, whole number, remainder, numerator, divisor, denominator. That means the sum of 5 and 7 eighths plus 6 and 2 fifths equals 12 and 11 40th. So that's one big number, right? And yes, we did have to take a lot of steps to get our answer, but I think that's um, probably the way of math because you have to find the logic behind everything. So that's pretty much it for this topic of adding mixed numbers. Now in our coming up video, we're going to be talking about subtracting mixed numbers. Now that's a very good um, revision of all this because this is what you're, this is like the main formula, like adding and subtracting mixed numbers and improper fractions and all. So remember, you can always visit our website for extra practice problems and we'll see you guys next time.